I'm trying to platinum every game I own. I asked my Twitch chat what platinum they wanted to see, and they voted for. Released in 2014, developed by seven different Ubisoft studios, Watch Dogs was supposed to be the GTA killer, but it didn't even come close. But is it a bad game? Well, with a total of 40 trophies, including multiplayer and a lot of collectible trophies, we're going to find out with our first trophy being Hello World, where we get thrown straight into the game story and we need to game in the guy who got our niece killed. How's your memory now? Oh, it got me. That got me. Uh, turns out we need more information from him, so we bop him and get our trophy. Hello world. First one already. So it begins. Now in Watch Dogs, there are only five story related trophies. And while on our way to the first story related trophy, Family Man, we got the trophy bookmarked. We need to tag a hundred enemies. And you tag enemies by either scanning them through cameras or getting jump scared by a helicopter. Bookmarked, we got a trophy, baby. Now for the trophy family, man, we need to complete act one, where we get ourselves arrested and break ourselves out of jail to try to track down a certain inmate. Look at this man, everyone living in the moment, not a phone in sight. After we find him, we show him something on our phone and then escape. Family man, let's go. The next trophy black hat trick, we need to get a triple kill using a single IED. For the trophy communication fail, we need to stop 10 civilians from snitching without using force, so either snatching their phone or using jam comms. Hello, I think I've lost a caller. Oh, communication fail. Easy. Another trophy. All right, they're starting to come in slowly. We get our next trophy clear signals for completing every CTOS tower. And each tower we complete, we unlock a bit of the map, which hits a different level of dopamine for me. Oh, there you go. There is the trophy. Clear signals. Unlock every CTOS tower. Another trophy because I don't like having uh, the map hidden. <laughs> now, this game's map and world gets quickly overlooked and dismissed, but I think it's great. Now, is that because of the surprisingly beautiful scenery and the alive feeling of the city? Or is it because I can play poker, baby? <laughs> I was about to win the fucking hand. But the world has different city games available that aren't poker, and we get the trophy power cycle for participating in five different ones. Wait, Not someone finally stepped power up. cycle? Wait, I just took a shot of a drink. Oh, um. That's good. And while I was here, I decided to go for the trophy social lubricant. And this, this was a mistake. Because not only do I need to complete level 10 of whatever a virtual drinking game is, I need to complete level 10 on all three different opponents. And after wasting two hours of my life, say we're done. Somebody make sure he gets a cat. Social lubricant. Thank God. Holy shit, I hated that. And now it's time to get back to this. Mission locked. I'm being invaded uh, by an ad read from the sponsor of this video, Honkai Star Rail. Honkai Star Rail is a turn-based strategy space fantasy RPG developed by Hoyoverse, available on the PS5, PC, and mobile. And this game has it all. The environments, the music, the voice acting, and my favorite, the combat animations. I'm only a novice when it comes to watching anime and almost watch purely for those big spectacle battle moments. And when a character in Honkai Star Rail does their ultimate, it always feels like that jaw-dropping finishing move that you watch 10 episodes to get to. Honkai Star Rail just released its version 2.1 anniversary update, bringing new game environments and gameplay as well as two new insane looking characters, with Acheron, a lightning titan agility character who has a very sick looking sword, with an unreal ultimate, and Aventuri, an imaginary type preservation character, which for his ultimate, he plays roulette. He's literally me. Also, the anniversary update also includes a new in-game event, Cosmodicy, as well as a new map, Clock Studios Theme Park. If you like turn-based strategy games with insane combat animations and a good story, then you'll like even more that the game is free to play. And if you use my code in the description, you can score yourself free stuff to help you get started on your Honkai Star Rail ride. Get it? Because it's a, it's a train. All right, all right, go download the game, use my code and link in the description, and thank you, Honkai Star Rail, for supporting the channel. Now let's get back to the trophies. With that detail out of the way, we're heading into Act. Two, who is Raymond Kenny? And we get the trophy for completing the mission way off the grid. We need to wipe a hard drive and chase down an enemy fixer who escaped in a fire truck. And taking down this fire truck, we can get the trophy hard crash. But we need to do 10 car takedowns and luckily this is our 10th one. We got a plan? It's... Hard crash, okay, yeah, sure. What's happening? Let's... Ooh. Who is Raymond Kenny? Another trophy. 
Hell yeah. Act two done. Now, I wish this next part was a scripted joke uh, because it's really hard to make up. My recording for the trophy, Hardware Fail, uh, failed. And to get the trophy, you need to shoot out 15 tires on different vehicles. And my hardware actually failed for the next two trophies, Magic Smoke, which you get for killing four enemies in a single focus. And it also failed for the story-related trophy of Act 3, One Down, One to Go. I seriously don't know what happened with that footage as even the Twitch VOD corrupted. So, wait, Aiden, you're not, you're not doing this, are you? But now with those issues out the way, we move into our fourth act, Trophy Vengeance. But we need to complete the mission No Turning Back, where one of our hacker friends, Clara, was set up. And we get the best display of voice acting from Aiden Pierce. No! Oh. Vengeance. A trophy, but at what cost, man? Fuck you, Ubisoft, making me feel things. And we get our last story-related trophy, Log Off, for completing the last mission in the game, Sometimes You Still Lose. Where we upload a virus and get in a hacking battle with the guy who took out Clara. And it turns out we only need to escape the cops one more time for the trophy, Escape Loop. We need to escape them for a total of 15 times. Escape Loop! <laughs> Let's go. Escape 15 police chases. Oh my god. I think I'm just supposed to have the cops. Look at that, bro. What am I supposed to do? After finally tracking down the guy who was hacking us, we quickly pop him. Bang! And it's finally time to tie up loose ends. Ooh. Where we get given a choice to walk away or to... Log off. Are they trying to tell me something? What's going on with that one? The story's finished. Let's get into the fucking world. I want to explore this shit. Now, this game has a really good story, and I kind of flew through it in this video because we still have 24 trophies to get, and a lot of them are either collectibles or complete activity X amount of times. Like this next trophy, Basis Base, where we need to clear out all 15 gang hideouts in the game. We're close. 14 out of 15 hideouts. Fuck you! Basest base. You love to see a trophy. We've only got, what, like a hundred side things to do left? For the next trophy enforcer, we need to take down 20 confirmed criminals using the crime detection system. Enforcer. I thought that was the last one. That's all of the criminals put away. No more crime. Now the next four trophies, I think Aiden Pierce got to me again. And definitely not the fact that I didn't realize I was recording a blank screen. But thankfully we have the Twitch VOD, so say hi to Twitch chat and let's get these next few trophies. With our first being Free Radical, where we need to escape a level 5 police chase, which means first we need to get level 5 police on us. There we go. I gotta escape this. Okay, I couldn't get the helicopter. Wait. <laughs> oh, that was impossible. What the fuck? Free radical. Starting off hot. And now with a level 5 police scan looking for me, I can get the trophy scan proof. But we need to evade a level 5 police scan. Probably should have popped out as soon as I got away from it, hey? Oh, no. I'm out of, I'm out of jams. Let's go! Scan proof! Escape a level 5 police scan. Now, this game's online is a mixed bag. Well, not really. There's only one game mode that is the worst multiplayer mode I've seen in a long time. But we'll talk about that game mode specifically in a bit because a good design game mode is online tailing. And for the next trophy, Trace, we need to get tailed five times, where I put a call out to my Twitch chat to invade my game, where they try their best to not get detected. Absolutely shit on. Who's this? Oh, bad aim, bad aim. <laughs> Terrible aim. Got his ass. God, I can't get like a clean shot. Oh, collateral! But through a civilian. Trace. There we go, get tailed five times. And while chat was involved, I decided to go for the online trophy, Super Highway, where we need to complete 10 public races. Wait, we got, it. We got another dude in here. There is so many people racing right now. <laughs> and of course, I won every single race. Why do I think that was a ramp? Okay, maybe not all of them. Super highway. And I'm getting shot. Cool. Yeah, let's go. Now, there's still two multiplayer trophies left, but we'll come back to those in a second, as we still have a lot of single player trophies to get to, like the trophy end of line, where we need to complete all 40 fixer contracts. And there's four different variations of contracts. Drive through checkpoints, take out a fixer, time trial races, and escaping the police. And these missions are pretty easy if they work. I don't want to shoot my boat. Oh my god. Is he sinking? Can I get him? What am I supposed to do? I can't get that. Fuck. Got his ass. End of the line. Oh, we did it. 
Trophy! It's been two months! <laughs> and another side mission trophy, Road Rage, we need to finish off all 18 convoys. Now, convoys are pretty self-explanatory. Some of them you can just blow them up, and the others you need to knock them out. Bang! Road Rage. Basically what just happened. All convoys done. And completing the last two trophies, we actually got enough skill points to get the trophy freeware. But you need to unlock every skill in the skill tree. Freeware! That's a gold trophy. Hell yeah. Unlock every skill in the skill tree. Sister Mangler is the next trophy which we get for completing all 16 CTOS breaches, which are basically time trial puzzles where you race to hack CTOS boxes. Gotta do this fast. Like, gotta do it fast and give me four minutes to do so. A few minutes later. If anyone clipped the bit where I said <laughs> about the timer being like, gotta be quick, and then I say four minutes, and the trophy. System Mangler. Hell yeah. Now let's get back to that one online game mode that's just awful. And that's online hacking. Where you invade someone's game and profile scan them. And rather than just staying hidden and observing them, you need to run away and hide. Forcing a random player minding their own business to come and find you. I feel so bad for this guy. He's just like, what the fuck is this? Online tailing is good because it doesn't impact the person you're tailing. And if done right, the player who is getting invaded doesn't even know you're there. But this come one on, basically man. says, hey, you random person fuck you come and find me i'm being invaded but i have to run over here i'm literally in the middle of something oh my fucking god i'm, I'm literally gambling leave me alone and for the trophy hackification we need to play hide and seek 10 times and you'll quickly see how unfair and dumb this game mode really can be because for my 10th win i really wanted to show you how bad it can be forcing someone to come and find me Thank you, Dr. Angel. Ah, oh, we, are, we are in fucking business. Yeah, he's coming. Get in the car, get in the car, get in the car, get in the car. He's closed it. We fucking got him! He's trapped! We did it! He's in there! Let's fucking go! Am I spamming? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, I love this game. That's just so... I got four more of these things. We got him, boys. And we got him again. We got him again. He's in there. I'd quit. This this guy's a stronger man than me. I'd quit in a heartbeat. He's just driving around. Oh, dude, I, I feel so bad. Just kidding. Get shit on. Hackification. Oh, my God. I just trapped... A guy just trying to play campaign. Wait, he's cast there. <laughs> what a dog shit game mode. Now for the last multiplayer trophy, we still need to tail 10 people. But first, I wanted to get back to chipping away at some of the side content, like completing all 10 of the weapon trade investigations for the trophy Saturday night special. Yep, still getting collectible trophies. Read only for lining up and collecting QR code scans. I will admit these are very cool and a very unique collectible. I had a lot of fun doing these. Read only. We get the trophy sanity check for completing all eight burner phones. Sanity check. Yeah, we're going to fucking need one. <laughs> Holy shit. And for the trophy, they call him the vigilante. We need to complete the last two investigations, which are the missing persons investigations for the trophy darkness looms. Darkness looms. Huzzah! Might that be another digital achievement? And the trophy revoking client privileges for finishing off the trafficking investigations. These are very strange, and hats off to Ubisoft for taking the serious route and making me uncomfortable. This game's side content is really good. I needed this win. I needed this win, and I need this trophy. They call him the vigilante. Revoking client privileges. That's two freebies. For the trophy White Rabbit Object, we need to escape 15 police scans. Now, it's a little weird getting this trophy so late in the game, but I'm pretty sure it was because every time the cops scanned me, they basically started chasing me. White Rabbit exactly four. White Rabbit. There we go. It's okay, so I wasn't that far off that trophy. This next trophy can either be the easiest trophy in the game or the hardest trophy in the game. Disc Space Full, where we need to unlock all 23 songs. And you unlock songs by either completing the story missions, using the app in certain buildings, or hacking them off of pedestrians. With the last two of those being completely RNG, we basically have to get lucky. And it turns out, we really did get lucky. As without even going for this trophy, I managed to collect the three songs that can only be obtained by pedestrians. Making the last few songs we need only obtainable through the song sneak app and a quick shout out to Kachawad and Husky in Twitch chat for pulling up what songs I needed. All in all, I got pretty lucky with this trophy and after a few times driving back and forth, we got our last song. High class! We did it! This space full. Easy trophy. Very easy trophy. Thank the Lord we didn't have to struggle with that one. Bang! 
game. For the next trophy peephole, we need to complete all 30 privacy invasions. And shout out to anyone that was in the Twitch streams where we would try and guess if what we're about to see is either wholesome or bad. Jordy! Jordy's staging um a murder. That's kind of cool. Kind of cool seeing Jordy. It's not wholesome. It's definitely it's definitely not wholesome. Okay, the audio's glitched. Oh, cool. The audio glitched on the last one. <laughs> People, it's bad. It's so bad. Now this next trophy is a tough one. With only 2.7% of players earning this trophy, and that trophy is piggyback, where we need to successfully tail 10 people online, and we also get the trophy stealth cookie for completing our first invasion. And this was super easy, as either most players I tried to tail were going on an absolute rampage, what is this guy doing? Or were just straight up AFK. Came in with a plan and stuck to it. Stealth cookie. That was so fucking hard. I had to really fucking pay attention just then, because he could have got out of that car at any time. And for completing our 10th one, we got our trophy. Oh, yeah. Piggyback, that's it. The hardest trophy in Watch Dogs is done, which means we have one more trophy to get. And that trophy is geolocated. We need to check into all 100 hotspots located around the entire map. And I thought this last trophy was gonna be a massive grind, but it was actually really fun. This game has a really good map and a really good world as well. And like GTA 4's Flying Rats collectibles, doing location collectibles at the end always makes me a little sad, knowing that this might be the last time I ever play this game, as after this last hotspot, we will have collected every trophy. Geolocated. A hundred percent clear. We fucking did it, baby. Watch Dogs 1 Platinum. No way it's finally over, man. It's kind of, kind of sad. A hundred percent clear with, I'm pretty sure, not even a hundred percent in the game. Look, that is great game design right there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel. Let me know of any games you want to see me platinum. Thank you Twitch chat for picking this game. And I'll see you in the next video where I won't lock someone in a garage. Remember, no rushing.